Bucks, man, that series with the Indiana Pacers, Indiana looked good, but uh, the Bucks, I thought the veterans looked good. I can't lie. Like, I think that's their best part was Brooke Lopez and Chris Chris Middleton hooping. Yeah, it's like, it's like they gave Chris Middleton the, the crazy steroid shot in his back or something. He just looked well, like someone else. One game where Brooke Lopez dropped like 25 points. I'm like, what the hell? Is this 2011? Yeah, but then again, it is it is the Pacers. They don't play no... They have no rim protection. They don't, they they don't, don't play, play no, defense. no defense, bro. They don't play no defense. I know that. And, Yo, but uh, they played but... better defense when Halliburton was injured against the Celtics. You <laughs> notice that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, because they bet Shepard is on the lineup and TJ McConnell, bro. Those guys' jobs are just to play defense. They're scrappy guys. Yes. Wow. But the Bucks, man, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Dame, Dame had good games, but it's like they gave up so many points. Uh, they struggled. There was times where it seemed like the Indiana Pacers were able to blow them out, regardless, in one of these games. Yeah, and just looking at their cap sheet, man, yeah. this team is over. They're already almost at the luxury tax. Bro, they're they're almost at, their, at the second forget apron. The cap forget the cap sheet. Look at the ages on their players, bro. Okay, Middleton and uh, Brooke were great. But can we expect the same for next year? Where mm. Middleton's track history of injuries and Brooke Lopez is uh Brooke Lopez obviously the decline and also his track is he's a big man with back problems. Not yeah, good. Yeah, age 37 too. Yeah, back problems age 37, not good. Yo, this team is already up to 182 million dollars before they re-sign yep. anybody. And they're they're gonna. All right, they also have Bobby Portis. Bobby Portis, he made the he made the dumb mistake of getting ejected in the start of the game, in uh, game four or five. Yeah, yeah, I seen that. Um, yeah, it looks and like also, yeah. it looks like this season was their first season where they had breathing room, not to be yeah. over the second apron and the tax, but next season. Yo, bro, they only got like seven to eight people on their roster, and they're almost at the second apron tax. That's crazy. Yeah, 182 yeah, million. AJ McConnell is under contract on that team. Oh, uh, no. Um, well, I'm, t- I'm talking about the Bucks. Not Pete. Oh, fuck Pat, Pat Connington. Oh, yeah. Pat, Pat Connington, Connington. Yeah, 10 million a yep. year. Bobby Portis is under contract, and he's. Bobby Portis is really an important factor on that team. Yeah, no, and next season, they don't have Pat Bev. Malik Beasley's not there. I think Jay they might Crowder. resign Pat Bev. I think Pat Bev, Pat Bev, you you guys suspended for five games, but you just eat it. But I think Pat Bev, Pat Bev, to his credit, did bring life to that team. Okay, so Peep, right? If they re-sign yeah. Malik Beasley, Pat Bev, and AJ Crowder, right? That's probably yeah. gonna put them at the the tax, right? So if they yeah. if they're in the tax for two years in a row, they lose a draft, they lose a, they lose a first round draft pick, and yeah. I think seven years I out. I think Malik is gone. I think Malik is gone. I think Jay might be gone too. But Pat Bev, I think because of his relation with Doc, he might stay. Yeah, that's crazy. But but you you you, you are you aware of the new uh, rules with the with the draft picks? Yeah, right. we talked about it. Many yeah, times. like that's that's crazy that they're yeah. just gonna put it at the end of the first round automatically. Yeah, yeah. So they're gonna have to make a lot of pivots, bro. That team has to make a lot of pivots. It's let's just see what kind of pivot they make. But it's like the Bucks are just in a tough spot. That's why I like. I think I was talk. I was in a flight to Detroit. One of the guys I was sitting next to me, and he was like, "Yo, Pat Bev, on the, the stats and all that shit, mm-hmm. he's not noticeable, but he's a guy you kind of want if you're the Bucks because number one, you don't have to really, you don't have to really coach him. He's kind of a coach on the court, and he's kind of the good veteran presence and kind of he could check Dame many times because like he doesn't give a shit. And I thought about him like, yeah, that kind of value does bring does bring good value, but it's like with the new money, it's gonna be hard to resign him. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to resign him, and it's gonna like right now and, they and can't. Teams are gonna try to pay for him too. Yeah. yeah, they really can't do any mid-level exceptions after this summer if they resign yeah. a bunch of guys, and they can't do two for one trades. You know how they do two, yeah. two players for one match in salary? They can't do no, that. They can't. So like Pat Bev will be like a max contract for them, basically what you're saying. Yeah, when when you add on the tax, probably not yeah. a max contract, but it'll be a lot larger than the well, minimum. Like it'll be like almost like a like, obviously not a max contract, but you know what I mean, right? Like it'll feel like a max contract for them. Oh yeah, yeah, it's gonna feel that. It's, yeah. they're, they're gonna be hurting, so that so yeah. that's why there's that extra pressure with Dame being there. It's like yo, Dame, yeah. you have to perform. And I think that Achilles, I don't, I don't think it was all that serious. I mean, I didn't really keep up with Dame after that series, but I don't think it turned out to be all that serious as injuries. Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure if he did surgery or not. 
Yeah, because I didn't really look that deep into it after that series. That did. Yo, but, but I'm, I'm a, but I'm gonna call it out right now. It might be a little hot yeah. take, but at some point, I think Giannis gonna get frustrated with Dame. <laughs> at some point, because yeah, because because Giannis kind of has like a dark side, man. That no, Giannis don't... plays politics. Yeah, uh, Giannis plays politics. You remember twenty twenty, where he's like, yeah, if the Bucks don't do shit, I'm out. Like he basically he didn't say it directly, obviously, but he indicated it, and that force management of kind of like trade for PJ Tucker, kind of like do do these do these trades, Drew Holiday, PJ Tucker, and all these guys. Like, all right, yeah, be honest. <laughs> we're, we're yours. We're going to make that superstar. We're going to over it. We're going to give four round, first first round picks, four first round picks for this Drew Holiday, and, you know, let's correct. make something happen. You remember that? Correct, correct. And he played yeah, politics he, this he, uh, last summer, too. Oh, he knows how to play politics, man. I think the whole idea of he's just the guy who wants to have fun is bullshit. Yeah, this is, this yeah, is sure, he wants to be a fun summer. guy, but, you know, he wants to win. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. 